welcome back to Drunk on Wonderlust. Now for everybody that's been asking how my knee is, it's healing really nicely and hopefully I'll be back out hiking before too long. But in the meantime, this week's video, I'm gonna be telling you all about my top five UK wild camping spots of 2021. Well, so far, so let's get stuck in. I only discovered my love for wild camping last year. When lockdown ended, I decided on a whim to hike the West Highland Way in Scotland. I bought a pop-up tent, hopped on a train and never looked back. I just loved every minute. So here we are coming in at number five, our wild camp at the top of Egan in Snowdonia. This was just last month, was hiking the Snowdonia Way mountain route. We had passed some incredible views on the way to the top and finally reached the summit just as the sun began to set. It was the perfect end to a fantastic day on the trail. We literally hadn't seen another person since we started climbing and had the entire mountain to ourselves. As you can see, this year I have retired Percy the pop-up tent and have been using a Salewa Light Trek 2, which I'm really loving. My first trip Camping in Snowdonia National Park was just amazing. Most of the early stages of this trail were so quiet, you wouldn't see another hiker all day until you reached a town. You can check out my videos of this route and the other routes on my channel. We made it to Beacon Town. Let's have a look at wild camp number four. Yes, Beacon Town, my first ever wild camp in the Lake District. This one was memorable for a number of reasons. It was our first night wild camping the Cumbria Way, which was an absolutely epic national trail. And also, it was my first wild camp with Emma, my best friend from school, which made it even more fun. We had a beautiful spot right on the shore of the town, and were even lucky enough to witness a fabulous sunset, which reflected nicely across the water. Moving on to number three, our wild camp on Incline Top in the North Yorkshire Moors. April 12th, the very day lockdown ended, we started hiking and camping the Cleveland Way. It was quite the adventure, and after a long day of hiking, we found the perfect wild camping spot just past Blowworth Crossing, where we were treated to some breathtaking views and a really beautiful sunset. Now this was the coldest wild camp I've experienced, with temperatures dropping that night on the moors to minus three degrees. But we survived and awoke to a very frosty morning indeed. But before too long, the sun made an appearance and we got to enjoy some more incredible scenery. My second favorite wild camp this year was halfway up Mount Snowdon. This was again during our hike of the Snowdonia Way mountain route. We had climbed up the first section of the Watkin Path, then veered off left towards the Quarry Upper Reservoir, where we pitched up and took in the sights and sounds of beautiful Mount Snowdon. After a lovely camp, we got up early to summit so we could enjoy the mountain without the crowds of people. It was a fantastic experience and one I'll never forget. This brings us to my favorite wild camp of 2021 so far. And we found this spot whilst hiking the Great Glen Way up in Bonnie, Scotland. We had just finished the high route section alongside Loch Ness and headed up through some woodland out of Drumna Drocket when we came across a ready-made pitch on the edge of the forest. Now the combination of great company with my two good friends Charlotte and Jordan, the beautiful woodland setting, a campfire, which really makes the difference, the lack of midges and the gorgeous views all added up to the perfect wild camp. I just couldn't ask for more. We had so much fun that evening and the views over Loch Ness the following morning were just breathtaking. Well, there we go. Thank you once again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to drop a comment. Let me know where your favorite wild camping spot is in the UK or even abroad. I always love to hear from you. Hope you all keep it nice and safe. I'll see you soon. Thank you, bye.